Well, come and study with Tanzania Institute of Education. Hello, people. How are you? I hope you are fine. I'm doing well. My name is Madame Selina Widotinda. Today, I'll be with you teaching English uh, on the topic known as coordinating ideas. This topic is found in Standard 7 syllabus. To coordinate means to bring into order or to organize. Now, what are we going to organize here? We are going to organize sentences. And how do we organize sentences? We organize sentences using linking words. The linking words are like either or, neither nor, not only but also both and. But for today, we are going to choose one of them. And what you have chosen today is either or. Now, before I proceed, I want you to sing with me. You know I like singing very much. Let us sing together. If you are happy and you know it, say ha ha, ha ha ha. If you are happy and you know it, say ha ha, ha ha ha. If you are happy and you know it, then you will surely want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, say ha ha, ha ha ha. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know it, then you will surely want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed the song and I hope you are happy too, isn't it? If you are not happy, then I tell you, you should be happy. Why? Because you have got there at your home some people who are taking care of you and because today I'm here talking to you, teaching you. This means I care about you and I'm sharing you the knowledge I have. Oh, I've spoken so much and now I think I would like to have a refreshment. Now, what can I take for refreshment? Hmm? Here I have two bottles of soda. I have Fanta, so I can take Fanta as refreshment. Here I have Pepsi, it means I can take Pepsi for refreshment. Let me write these two sentences on the board. I can take Pepsi for refreshment. I can take Pepsi for refreshment. I can also take Fanta for refreshment. I will write that sentence. I can take, I can take Fanta for refreshment. I can take Fanta for refreshment. See, here I've got two different sentences speaking about one thing. I've got two sentences speaking about one thing. Now, these two sentences can be organized and make one sentence. How do we organize this sentence? We are going to organize this sentence using the word either or. We are going to organize this sentence to make it one by using either or. We are going to use either or. Mm. Can you try on your own to, 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 to combine this sentence? From being two sentences into one sentence. Can you try to do that? Good. Let us write that sentence in this way. We can combine that sen those two sentences to make one sentence like this. I can take either, either peps or 
Fanta for refreshment. See? From two sentences, we have organized it into one sentence. I can take either peps or Fanta for refreshment. It means I can take peps for refreshment or I can take Fanta for refreshment. See how either or has helped us to organize this sentence? Okay. Now let us have another example. I want to write some notes. What am I going to use to write some notes? See here, I've got two pens. This one is blue, another one here is black. So it means I can use a black pen to write some notes. Or I can use a blue pen to write some notes. Those two sentences can be linked together using either or. For example, we can link them into, I can use either a blue pen or a black pen to write some notes. Let me write these two examples on the, chalk, on the board. See, I can write some notes. I can write some notes. I can write some notes using a black pen. Using a black pen. Or I can use, I can write some notes. I can write some notes using a blue, using a blue pen. So as you can see, here we have got two sentences. One saying that I can write some notes using a black pen. Another one saying I can write some notes using a blue pen. Those two sentences can be linked together by using either or. See here our sentence. I can, I can write some notes. I can write some notes using either blue or black pen. I can write some notes using, e using either blue or black pen. Are we going together? Now we have got some more sentences regarding how we can organize these sentences. Now, why do we organize sentences or why do we link them together? We link the sentences to reduce repetition. We link the sentences in order to reduce repetition. Instead of saying two sentences, you can make it one, like you have seen in these two examples. Another example we can say, another example we can say, another example comes from your own home now. Another example comes from your own home. What do you take for lunch? What do you take for lunch at your home? Hmm? Is it ugali? Or is it some rice? Huh? So at your home, you can take ugali for lunch or you can take some rice for lunch. Let me write those two sentences. You can take ugali for lunch. Oh, you can take some rice for lunch. You can take some rice for lunch. These two sentences can be linked using 
either or. You don't have to repeat or you don't have to say something twice. For example, when you say you can take ugali for lunch, then you say you can take some rice for lunch. That is repeating the same thing two times. Now, we don't want that disturbance. Instead, we use the coordinating of the linking word either or to make one sentence. So here, our sentence will be, you can take, you can take either ugali or some rice for lunch. You can take either ugali or some rice for lunch. Now, this, these coordinating or linking words help us to not repeat the same sentences twice. Instead of repeating the sentences, you use those linking words such as either or to make that sentence one. Another example, another example is, another example is about Anna. Anna can read, Anna can read the story from a book. Anna can read the story from a book. Or Anna, Anna can listen to, Anna can listen to the radio. Instead of speaking or mentioning both two sentences about the same person who is Anna, you can use the word either or to make those two sentences into one good sentence. Now, how are we going to combine that? We are going to combine or to organize that sentence by using either or. Here we go again. So here I can say, Anna can either, Anna can either read the story Anna can either read the story from a book. Anna can either read a story from the book or listen. Anna can either read a story from the book or listen to the radio. Anna can either read the story from the book or listen to the Radio. Now, this coordinating word either or gives you a choice. It gives you an option on what to pick or what to choose. Dear pupil, as you have been learning here, you have seen that the word either or gives you an option. From our first example to our last one, you see that we had two choices. See here, example one, we had Pepsi and Fanta. Those two are refreshments. Now we had to choose one. The word either or has got that sense of choice or option. I can take either Pepsi or Fanta. It means you choose between the two. The same here with the second example. I can write some notes using blue pen. I can write some notes using, using black pen. So this one, these two sentences were combined by either or. We had this sentence. I can write some notes using, using either blue or black pen. Okay. Our... Third example there was about ugali and rice. You had a choice to choose between ugali and rice. Now that word either or helped us to make one sentence or to make a choice. Look here. You can take either ugali or some rice for lunch. It means 
you choose between ugali and rice. Now, I hope you have enjoyed the lesson today. I want to tell you that language is for speaking. So make sure you do a lot of practice on, in speaking English. And also make sure you exercise you, the proper use of either or with your sisters and brothers at home. I hope we have got sisters and brothers there. Okay? Now, I will leave you with an exercise which will be displayed on your TV screen. Make sure you do that exercise and please look for assistance from any member of your family to see or to check whether you have done it correctly or you need some more help. You are with me, Madam Selina Guido Tinda. Goodbye until next time.